Hello there viewers and welcome back to Media 13. My name is Jordan and we are here for the finale episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's right, I didn't ever think it was going to happen. I was praying that it would somehow just keep going. But we finally reached the end. Right off the bat, I want to say that Obi-Wan Kenobi has broken into my top three Star Wars installments. This is across games, movies, shows and books. The finale is one that is filled with so much that it's difficult to really get it all across in this one video. It wrapped up every plotline that the show started. It also created new opportunities for different stories to be told. I'm actually at a loss for words. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be because I'm, I just really do not know how to put this. Now, I'm not going to talk about the main criticisms that this series has had. I'm going to leave that for a potential end of season video. But I think this episode alone really just makes this show the best. I think it blows everything that we've seen so far from Star Wars TV out of the water. I think the performances from Hayden Christensen, Moses Ingram, Ewan McGregor, everybody is absolutely amazing. Discord, fuck off. To be fair, it's someone telling me to cry for 20 minutes. I'll give them that one. I feel like I've sidetracked now. I can't remember what my point was. But no, it's absolutely incredible. Deborah Chow has created something magical here. I really desperately want her to do more Star Wars in the future because I feel like we really hit something amazing. I have a limited vocabulary I can use to discuss this show right now because I'm still hot off of watching it. I'm talking, uh, the Disney Plus thing is still right there. I've literally just finished it and got dressed up like this, which, by the way, in my humble opinion, this is probably the best this cosplay has looked on camera so far. I don't know if you agree, but just everything. The scenes in the Lars home were absolutely amazing in terms of the tension. And then the so-called rematch of the century. Now, guys, this isn't even on the same level as the battle on Mustafar. I genuinely believe this one's better. However, I think it's better because of the battle on Mustafar. I think without the battle on Mustafar, this one doesn't have nearly as much weight behind it. And as a result, probably doesn't hit as hard. So what you could say is the Mustafar one is still more important than this one because it makes this one as good, if not better. See what I mean about being really, like, just not in a right space of mind to talk about this yet? I do like that they have left the show off on an ending that could go either two ways. It could be just be left there and that is that. Um, they have also left it relatively open-ended, and with Reva, they have gave the opportunity to tell further stories with that character. Which is something I actually really want, because Reva has really won me over. I will admit in the previous video, I really overshot it, and I, I said some stuff based on like my first watch, which then, going back and watching it again, was completely debunked. Reva is one of the standout characters in this show, and Moses Ingram's performance definitely is something that highlights that. I think one or two scenes specifically in this episode, like the moment where she's standing over Luke, really highlight how integral she was to making this work. She is part of a larger point I want to make, but like I said, I'm going to leave that for the season review. Now that is going to be either next week, the week after, or potentially even the week after that, depending on scheduling conflicts, because I may or may not have a guest. Stay tuned for that. But those have been my manic and all-over-the-place thoughts on the finale of Obi-Wan Kenobi. But now it is your turn. I want you to get into the comments and let me know what you thought. Did you enjoy this episode as much as I did? Feel free to let me know what your favourite moment was. Do you think this battle really is the rematch of the century? Does it deserve that title? If you enjoyed this review, feel free to leave a like at the- Oh, wait, it's happened. If you enjoyed this review, feel free to leave a like. It lets me know I'm doing something right with this content and also lets me know you want to see more Star Wars content in the future. The support across the Kenobi reviews in general has been better than any show that I have reviewed so far, so thank you so much for sticking through it. If you want me to review future Star Wars shows, then also feel free to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss them when they happen. And if you want to help spread the word about Media 13, you can share this video on Instagram or on Twitter. It really means the world. But that's been everything from me. My name has been Jordan. I hope you're all on a fantastic day. And I'll see you all in the next one.